Today I want to demonstrate how to make a simple box construction um, and these are really handy to put those cards in that don't fit in to normal envelopes. If you've got a little bit too much embellishing on them they fit nicely into these cards rather than an envelope. So we'll get started straight off and we are going, we, you need a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and we're going to measure it at three quarters of an inch on either end and rule across and then we go three quarters of an inch from the line we've just ruled and roll across then we go six inches down from that line and roll across then we're back to three quarters of an inch and another three quarters of an inch and then we turn the card 90 degrees and we start from the other side for this side we go two and a half inches across go three quarters of an inch we go five inches from that line that we've just drawn go three quarters of an inch and a two and a half inch measurement from where we've just been and that is it with the measuring so once we've done this last line we, we do a bit of trimming this little bit at the end is an off cut we don't want that on there so that comes off and this one here also comes off the other end So now you've got something that looks like that. I'm going to remove the blade from my cutter and we're going to score all those lines that we've just drawn. So, so we just score them through. all gets scored I don't have a score pal so I do just use my cutter but I always remove the blade just in case I accidentally slice when I should be scoring Okay, now we are up to 
taking off the bits we don't want. We don't want these. So just take them off. You've got something that looks like this. We also don't want this little corner here. We don't want that one. Goes. And that's all scrap. Now we cut our tabs and just to make it fit neatly I always cut just a little bit more off them so they come off just like that just a, a little sliver out of them Once all that that's all the cutting done, we will fold all along our score lines now. So we just fold everything. You can use your scorer to get a nice crisp fold. And now it's just a matter of constructing it. So I'll put a little bit of tape here and across here. And then you tuck that tab and this tab in just like that. And then just give it a nice little press like that. And this one. Now the card that fits in this box that I've given you the measurements for is six inches deep but it's only five inches wide and the reason for that is I fiddle and fiddle and there is just no way out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock you can get a six inch across card to fit in a box to fit a six inch across card so that's why I've dropped the measurements to five now I have thought about it quite a bit and I, the, the only way that you can do it is by making your doors two inches and then you will get your base six inches but they're not going to meet but you could probably put a bit of a, um, a border or lace or something down the side there to extend it so that you can still close them and they seal um, once you've got the hang of, of doing these and, and they come together really easily and it's a basic a basic measuring design you can then start playing around with changing the sizes to fit your cards so this is one that I did just for an, a normal A5 size card that, that had just a bit too much and I couldn't fit it in an envelope so I just made the base to fit the card and then adjusted the doors accordingly the sides 
always stay at three quarters of an inch always and then I did this longer one as well because you do have that extra at the end to go longer so th that that was for that one there so you can fiddle around once you get the ba the hang of it and they are so quick and easy to put together um, you can start playing around with different shapes and different sizes to fit your cards but just remember if you're doing a six inch one you're going to have short doors but as I said you'll, you'll think of ways to get over that okay thank you for watching